Welcome back folks, this is Tobias again with the translated version of my Fusion Minis episode 6. This time it's all about keyframing and here I create a note. It's a shape 3D note and by default this will be a plane in your project. But right now I want it to be cubic so I change it into cube. Okay, and just to make this look a little bit better, I activate this working lights. All right, let's start animating. I want my animation to start at frame zero and it ends at frame 100. Fine. Now to generate my first keyframe, I simply have to right click here on size and then choose animate. Boom, easy as that. It's colored green, which is the indicator for us. Everything's working fine so far. Second keyframe on frame 50. Here I want my cube to shrink down a little and on frame 100 back to its original size. All right, what have we done so far? Looking pretty good. Now let's hop over into the timeline section by clicking on this tab here. And here we have all three keyframes, one, two, and the last one, three. And of course we can grab them and change position. Yes, this is working, but I prefer doing this in the spline editor. And if you know After Effects or maybe Blender, this is somewhat similar to what you know as the graph editor. Right now it's empty, but we have made some changes to the size. Fusion smart enough to know that. Click here and boom, there are your keyframes. To see a little better what we are doing, we can left click here in this area to zoom in or out a little. In my case, I'm zooming in. Fine. And now just Click on the keyframe you would like to change. Again, you can change its position, but you also get these little handles. And now you can start shaping your curve like this. Just like in After Effects, this technique is called easing. Okay, now to add more keyframes, simply hover over the curve and the plus indicates that we are adding keyframes. Click, click and click and click again. We added some keyframes and to delete them just select them and hit delete on your keyboard. All right and if we decide that this whole animation sucks and we just want to get rid of it we can hover over size again right click here and say remove. Now guess what? Our animation is gone. You can start over again. Yay. Okay, what else to say? Um, this does not only work for the 3D nodes, of course. It also works for every 2D node. Just hover over the parameter you would like to animate and click on animate. Easy, right? This is the end of this episode. I hope you liked it. If so, please come back next time. Bye. Bye.